Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 24th of 2020. Well, it is titled into the shadow. So what do we see here? Well, this is a number of images of the moon put together. And as the moon moves from right to left, across this image, you can see as it moves in to the Earth's shadow. Now the darkest part of the Earth's shadow we call the umbra and that is when it is totally eclipsed. If you are in the umbra of the Earth's shadow, that means that you would see the Earth completely blocking out the sunlight. So were you on the moon during a lunar eclipse, you would essentially be seeing a solar eclipse with the Earth passing in front of the sun and blocking out its light. Now, unlike a solar eclipse here on Earth, where the moon completely blocks out the sun's light, one difference between the Earth and the moon is that the Earth has an atmosphere. And the atmosphere is very good at scattering blue light and allowing red light through. So red light actually sneaks into the Earth's shadow. And that is why on the left hand side here, you can see the blood red color of the moon during the eclipse. Had the Earth had no atmosphere, the moon would just completely disappear. It would be dark and you would see absolutely nothing there. So it's the Earth's atmosphere that is bending that light into the Earth's shadow and therefore allowing us to see the moon even though it is totally eclipsed. Again, otherwise the moon would simply not be visible during an eclipse. And we can also see uh, a little section here where it's actually blue. Now the blue is a little bit different. And that is actually caused by the light passing through the upper portions of the Earth's atmosphere. And ozone differing from the rest of the atmosphere is very good at scattering the red light away and transmitting the blue. So it actually allows the blue light through instead of the red. And for that little section where the sunlight happens to be coming through just that one portion of the upper Earth's atmosphere up in the stratosphere, then we actually get a little bit of bluish coloring. Once the moon then moves fully into the Earth's shadow, we can then see that it all becomes that deep blood red color that we associate with a total lunar eclipse. Now there are several total sold several lunar eclipses this year, but none of them will be total. The moon will not cross in to the umbra of the Earth again until May of next year, and that's May of 2021. So looking for a good lunar eclipse, not one you're going to see this year. But next year, we will begin to see again lunar eclipses uh, that will show us that blood red color of the moon. So that was our picture of the day for January the 24th of 2020. It was titled Into the Shadow. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.